My name is Eddie Zavala. I am the NASA Program Manager for SOFIA. SOFIA stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. It is the world's largest airborne observatory. The aircraft that is SOFIA first went into operations in 1977. It was a Pan American aircraft and it was christened by Anne Morrow Lindbergh, Charles Lindbergh's widow, as the Clipper Lindbergh. After its operation with Pan Am, it continued as a United Airlines aircraft before NASA bought it in 1996. At that time, it became targeted for the SOFIA modification. After the modification was done, Eric Lindbergh, Charles Lindbergh's grandson, rededicated the aircraft as the Clipper Lindbergh. And on the left side of the front of the aircraft is the Clipper Lindbergh in the Pan Am script. We're on the flight deck of the Sophia aircraft. This is where three crew members operate, fly Sophia very precisely for the purposes of acquiring uh, science observations. The flight deck is a combination of vintage 70s technology and modern day avionics in the form of a glass cockpit. The telescope weighs 17 metric tons. It is supported by a structural mod where forward of the telescope a pressure bulkhead provides a regular commercial airliner environment. Behind the pressure bulkhead, the primary mirror of the telescope is exposed to the outside unpressurized environment at altitude. The telescope is exposed to the light of the universe by opening a door that uh, is designed in such a manner so as to minimize the aerodynamic uh, influences on the telescope and therefore the image. The telescope is also isolated from the movement of the aircraft through various design features, one of which is in the center of the telescope is a spherical bearing that floats on a hydraulic layer of oil, pressurized oil. It is also gyro-stabilized. Of the 17 metric tons that is the telescope, about 9 metric tons sits on that spherical bearing. And when that telescope is floating on the hydraulic oil, you can move those 9 metric tons with two fingers, effortlessly. What that means in flight is that the stability and the pointing of the telescope is very good. And in moderate turbulence, the telescope, if it had a laser pointer, could keep the laser inside the diameter of a 10 cent piece roughly 500 kilometers away. The reason why we come to New Zealand this time of year is because the weather conditions are truly remarkable. Very low water vapor and water vapor blocks the infrared light. And when we're at altitude at about 12 kilometers, the water vapor levels are so low that it is very hard to beat the quality of the science data that we get while we operate out of New Zealand. So in that regard, the science results, the publications that this program will produce this year and in the years to come will be helping set content and future textbooks to come. I look forward to that. The hospitality of the community, uh, the excitement that we see with every visit is second to none. And I'll tell you that our team that comes from the United States and international Germany feel completely at home. They are so welcomed by the community here. What can I say? It is uh, a pleasure to be here.